Right. Um, yeah, let's pick up this card. Okay, it's a scarecrow in a in a field. There's a red barn behind it. Kind of reminds me of Children of the Corn. That was a good film. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, it makes me happy. I feel uneasy. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I don't really feel uneasy. But it definitely doesn't make me happy, so let's go with I feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Ah, the scarecrow. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, to be honest, yeah, like, um, if I'm looking at this, I feel like I'm about to get, you know, picked up by Jeepers Creepers or something. You know, get my head chopped off by a child. So it's definitely not the scarecrow. Although, if it was fully Jeepers Creepers, it would be the scarecrow, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? No, nah, it's it's definitely not in the house. Like, actually, that's that's a house. I thought it was a barn. You know what reminds me of the children of the corn? At West Tennessee, there is a lot of farms with cornfields. Well, I I know I know what part of Tennessee I'm avoiding if I if I ever go over there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's it's not that it's not the it's not the barn house. It's not in the house. Then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? No, it's it's not in the field. It's probably behind me. Like as I'm taking the picture, it's it's behind me. So yeah, no, it's it's not in the field either. Is this threat real, or is it something in your imagination? Definitely real. It's definitely real. Like it's it stood right behind me. It's back. It's getting ready to lop off my head. Oh. oh well, perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session. I'm afraid we've run out of time. Run out of time? I paid for an hour. I like this music. I'm I'm rocking out to this music. I like it. That doll is creepy. Dolls creep me out. tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. 
There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction projects and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> you know, that dude seems like too held together about his sisters. Oh yeah, the awesome music's back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that Josh guy, he uh, he seems too too well held together by the whole incident. He may have been forcing it, just for like, that little uh, segment. Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. They used the title of the game in it! <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Serial Killer Dude again. Nice to meet you. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Well, Hannah be dead. A uh, diligent, considerate adventurous. Okay. Hello? Someone there? Yes. It is me. God, I am here. Path to cable car station. Okay. You can use the right stick to move the camera. It's very... Not movable. <laughs> oh, I see a light. I lost the light. A gate. And a crow. Yes, you've already told me this one, game. I don't need that tutorial again. Just wanted to know, did you ever notice the butterfly tattoo on Hannah? I did not. I didn't. I did not notice that. Oh, what? The gates busted. Climb over, Chris. What? Well, what's what's that on? Blah blah blah. Something change your terminus. Then take thirty-eight towards Calgary. Ask driver to stop at Blackwood Pines. Otherwise, he won't. 
Oh, he's. It's Chris sent a message to Josh asking how to get there again, and it looks like Josh sent a reply to uh, let him know how to get there. Wow, you're such a you're such a little bug, Chris. This this guy looks rusty. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Yeah, I I could I could open that with a well placed kick. Like, come on. Nice, nice, nice camera angle there. Let's, uh, I guess, climb over the wall. Ah, uh, you know, let's go quick. Why not? Oh. And let's jump. Oh. Man, these buttons come back quick. Well, at least I got over that wall quickly. And she's still being watched by the serial killer. Nice. Okay, we got anything along the path here? Just kind of do a zigzag walk so I don't miss anything. Aww. Hey, little fella. Okay, this bit. Huh? Don't move, don't move, don't move. <laughs> I did it! I hope you're picking the choices that Wolfie would do IRL. I am. I am. Like, if, if I was this person, like, th these are the. Th that's what I'd pick. Or you think. Or, you, or were you asking if that person was me? What would I pick personally? I'd probably still pick what I've been picking. That's the bit I was talking about. There's more to it where that came from. Good luck. What? What bit? Oh, when you said you're gonna like some segments that involve the controller. Okay, what does this say? <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Uh, tribes who once lived in these mountains believe the butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicate the nature of the prophecy. D death is black butterflies prophesize the dream is death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Lost. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. If you were Sam, then can I get that number, though? Nah, boy. Nah, nah. Sa Sam dog. Sa Sam ain't about that life. Oh, hello. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a co colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay. Yes. What we got? Okay, that looked like Mike, and there was a bird. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1 at any time to view your totem collection. Okay, so I can press it at any time. Right. So, that's the first guidance totem. Nice. I do have another event of the past type, type deal there. Okay. That was creepy. Creepy indeed. What we got going on here? The past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. So sanatorium, lodge, what's that? Danger pate? Ranger path? Something gate? I don't know. To lower cable car. 
cable car station, I'm guessing. Wow. Okay, what else we got around here? And then up over here. Doesn't look like it. Chris? That's you here? That's a bag. Um anything around the side here? I'm gonna check around the side here. First. Wait. If I go around here, will I be con you know, let's just go around here. And what's this? Clue found. Wanted poster. Wanted. Milgram Victor. Victor Milgram? What a name. Sex. Male. Height. Six foot two. Wow. He's just an inch shorter than me. Last known address. Blackwood Pines. Last seen the third of... Oh, no, no, no. The 16th of... Stupid American date format. 16th of March, 1998. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BMP... BPMC, read the letters in the correct order there, David, as soon as possible. Blackwood Provin pr pr Provincial Mounted Constabulary. Police Monte... Pro uh, no, it's just a different language. Okay. And that's, uh... Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. Press R1 to examine the clues you found. So... I guess that's not a clue of the twins, it's not a clue of 1952, it's a clue of the mystery man! Oh, and it, um... Okay, I should uh, just come straight here the next time I grab a clue, so I'm not having trouble reading. Gotcha. Guy with flamethrower, someone wanted for arson. Coincidence? I think not. Yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying there, Hammerhead. Right, what have we got around here? Anything? Anything? No. Dust. Anything? No. Dust. Dust. I've been watching a lot of Little Britain lately. Oh, hello. 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 Oh. Hello. Can I, can I, can I, can I grab the gun? I, I guess not. I can, I can only look at the gun. That's a nice gun. What is that? Is that, 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 that uh, some kind of rifle? That's a nice rifle. I totally want to pick that up, shoot some sandbags. You know, pass the time. Okay, what is... No, nothing in the trash can? Can't find like a half-eaten box of KFC in there? Because I'm feeling a little hungry. Okay, that's uh... It's locked. You want to try that again? What is that hand motion she's doing? Man! That's like a killer death grip right there. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want this this girl's numbers, this girl's digits, Joey. Definitely not. <laughs> bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? I don't know. Open it up. Have a look. Hello. What do we have here? You know what? I I I ain't gonna snoop. I ain't about that life. This ain't Pokemon Wolfie, don't think you're gonna find any items in the trash. <laughs> well, you never know, you never know. But no, I, I ain't about snooping, like... My phone is my life, if someone was to snoop through my phone, I'd, I'd, I'd kill them. So, yeah, let's, let's just close this bag. A butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, and humorous. Okay. 